Well, that was a visit to Sophie's Pottery Studio. It was awesome. I bought two pots and now we're heading off to Connor's. There is the CN Tower way over there. Connor's showing me a cool weeping willow on the way. Here it is. Wow, is that ever beautiful? Nice fall colors. Let's go in and have a look. Here's the multi trunks coming from a single trunk. I don't know if you call those branches or trunks, but wow, it's massive. There's a great big dead limb up there just hanging in the branches. Might be an idea for a bonsai someday is to have a dead branch just nestled up there in the uh, the crotches of the trees, the, the branches. Oh yeah, wow. It's kind of fused with the other one, hasn't it? That, that turns like 90 degrees back into the tree and then goes back out. Yeah, it's like a... Wow, that is really cool. <laughs> Yeah, that is really something. I'm gonna fall over here. Yeah, just beautiful. That's awesome, Connor. Connor is going to take <laughs> the auction ficus. Yeah, I'll babysit for uh, so, the December meeting. Hopefully this isn't the last time we see it. Hopefully we'll be able to follow its progress over the years. Yeah. yeah. yeah the rocks look really in a good next to it. Yeah, it kind of suits it, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, I would probably maybe try and build some roots up on the far side, mm -hmm. sphagnum moss or something, and eventually maybe, you know, put the rocks in the background or something, or... Yeah, did it ever come back though after the pruning? Right? Yeah, so this branch was completely bare yeah. back here. Yeah, it needs pruning again, doesn't <laughs> it? <laughs> All right, well, let's get it inside before... Uh, All right, okay. take her away, Connor, it's in your hands now. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Hi, Appa. <laughs> yes, I'm happy to see you too. Yes, it's exciting, isn't it? It's very exciting. We're taking Appa for a walk and Connor's cat is following us. Thinks it's a dog, I think. There's a lot of nice trees in this park, isn't there? Here's a white oak. So there's an old weeping horse chestnut. Really cool. Some Scots pines beside it. Yeah, they almost they, stand out there with they almost hang down vertical, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. Severe weeping branches. Yeah. Here's an old maple in the park. So if that was a bonsai, people would say, oh, that's ridiculous. That's not natural looking. But here's a tree in real life. That's quite bizarre. There's an old oak on top of the hill there that we'll go see. So here's the base of this giant oak. Appa for scale. <laughs> Appa says piss on it. Hey Appa, look at that. Yeah, you're a good boy. Wow, it's huge. That is beautiful. Wow, those are strong looking branches up there. We're going to count the roots around here, the surface roots. So starting here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, maybe sixteen. About 16 surface roots. Just amazing. So we're heading down into a little natural area down here. 
nice trails through here. Just beautiful, right in the middle of the city. Oh yeah, joined. Manitoba Maple Leaf. Or not? Pump out here. Here's some nice fall berries and fall colors. Stand out in the dreary fall. Yeah, it's pretty nice, isn't it? Connor and I were talking about big trees and the disadvantages of them. So I don't know how he got this in the house. Two people, I guess. But just massive. Yeah, it's growing really strong. Uh, yeah, the it's... The healed up and new, new growth coming in. It's looking good, really good. Here we are in Connor's backyard. <laughs> yeah, so we got most of the trees away. Some of them are still on the ground. Yeah. So those are the more hardy ones. They're okay there for a couple of weeks. And uh, I'm just going to bury them. Well, not bury them, but just put them on the ground up against the fence. Yeah. And, I've uh, never seen it so empty. Yeah. <laughs> you can see... Uh, so I took the beams off my benches. Okay, yeah. And then I dug a little shell scrape. Oh, that's good. Uh, and then buried all my trees down with mulch. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so they're all set for the winter. Yeah. And then, like I said, some of the bigger ones will just sit on the ground like that. Yeah. And that'll be all, all okay for them. Is that an Austrian pine? Or? Uh, this is a Scots pine. Scots pine, This is okay. one of my first collected trees. Wow, that's... Off the side of a railroad. Looking good, isn't it? Yeah. So I, I collected it because of this low branch right here. Yeah, yeah. So it was, all, it was obviously like an eight foot tree. So that'll be your new apex there? Yeah, so I'm hoping, uh, well, you can, this bud, this is... <laughs> oh yeah, there. This is the bud I'm putting all my faith in, basically. Okay, right there. <laughs> the little tiny one yeah, here, yeah, eh? Yeah, that, that could be my whole tree. Okay. But wow. I am working on back budding, so they are, it does... Oh yeah, yeah. So I'll just, like, make a pruning like this. Take off, like, big chunks at a time. Yeah. And then it will stimulate, then I wait for those to come up, and then do it again. Yeah, once these fatten up a bit more you'll be able to prune back to them yeah. eventually won't you just got to be patient mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's that's gonna be great that's another heavy one to lift yeah <laughs> wow and if the tropical benches are empty yes yeah all inside we'll go see that next okay <laughs> wow the pool's empty yeah full of these leaves from the pussy willow oh yeah yeah so there's something falling in it. So here's Connor's temperate trees. All the baby His setup ones. of them. The ones that get babied a bit, eh? Yeah. Oh. Here we are. Wow. You must have multi layers in here, do you? Uh, a couple, yeah. So I got little ones on top of. Watch out, man. Oh, sorry. This up here. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. This is your it's prop. Temporary, yeah. Is that going to stay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah, so that'll put them away nicely for the winter, won't it? Yeah, so it stays uh, above freezing in here. Yeah. Uh, so I got my tempered ones, like my rosemary's there. Yeah. Uh, my trident maple, my smaller seju elms, my big juniper, obviously. Yeah. Um, That's your prize one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then my Japanese maples are in here, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, that'll be good. Look how thick these walls are. Yeah. All so it's insulated. Double, double layer, two and a half inch. Wow. And then plot. You can kind of see it here. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's really good. And it's against the house, so it gets some yeah. warmth. And so I thought if, if I ever have an emergency, I can open up that window into the basement. Yeah. Um, and get like blast heat in it, but I haven't had to. No. No, that's pretty, pretty insulated, isn't it? Yeah. And it's in the ground. That's amazing. That must have been hard to dig out. Uh, yeah, cause I, so I had to take right part of the deck here. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> there's no point building this on, on the deck. Like, no. You want the ground heat, so. You got to get the heat of the ground, yeah. yeah. Well, that is awesome, and I, I'll show you inside, um, but Jackie, uh, my girlfriend's in building controls. So there's a thermocouple in here. Okay, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, so it's this line right here. I can pick it up. Okay, yeah. So this tells me the, the temperature on the ground, and then I'll show you the the panel when we go inside. Okay. But basically I get a live uh, live feed of the temperature. I see. So you I don't have that? to come outside in the cold and yeah. check it. <laughs> check it, open it up and yeah. see how hot or cold it is. Well, that's amazing. Yeah, so most 
mostly you know, all the work's done back here, so I just gotta, like I said, move those against the fence. Yeah. And then I'll wrap burlap around uh, the bench there to keep the wind out. Yeah, and as long as we don't go too cold, they'll be fine, won't Yeah, they? yeah. There's your mixed larch forest and mm -hmm. spruce over there. Looking that's nice looking good, yeah. Re remnants of, uh, that's, that's infested with the uh, wood sorrel too. Oh yeah, that's I hate annoying. that stuff. I gotta, it just needs a. Once it gets past a certain extent, you just have to repot to get I know, it out. I know. It's the roots are so deep and dense. Yeah. It's starting to snow out. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Here's a white pine. Beautiful. Oh yeah, a nine bark here. Yeah. Huh? Amber Jubilee nine bark. Yeah, so it's really. I can't, there's no picture. Okay. It's a really red and uh, like burgundy uh, leaf type throughout the fall, but it's, I think its main character is this flaky. Yeah, that's pretty flaky cool. Bark. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that'll be good. I've seen some people do it. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Twelve dollar Canadian Tire find or whatever. Well, but that's awesome. Look at, look the, at base. the base. That is root flare. Holy. That is a good one. I would have got that too. Yeah, right. I that. <laughs> can't resist something no, like that. You don't see like. Normally they're pencils. Yeah, that's amazing. Here is the auction ficus next to Connor's giant jades. Look at that. Unfortunately, it's, it's a little cracked, but... Oh, is it? Okay. Oh. It is a... It doesn't freeze, so I don't... Yeah, that is a cool pot. It's kind of got a crackle. Yeah. Almost hexagon type finish on it, eh? And then like the red undertones. Yeah. And really nice bark forming on this, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So another old one. I don't know if you can see it. Old, yeah. Amazing. But this one's in, this hasn't been in training. This is after like I think one styling. Wow. Um, but there's a place in out in Milton out there that sells these uh, kind of mature jades. Yeah. But is that I, that... I bought it for this this brand right here. Oh really? Well, I think I think it was, was really great. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, I thought you were going to say you were going to reduce oh, it no, back no, no. to that. Okay, good. <laughs> because it already has like a, a pad like. Yeah, it's yeah. got the, yeah, it's got a nice structure to That's it. That's why I like these gole, uh, golem jays. Yeah. They, they look like needles of a pine tree. Yeah, yeah, they, they're they really nice. A little, a little more deceiving, I guess. I do like the leaves on this one, though. Mm -hmm. They're really dark green, almost purplish. They're, they're really cool. Yeah. Mine's doing really well, too. It just keeps growing. It's amazing. Yeah, so you can, it, it's nice. This a little too, um, too bent down from. I see. Thing. Right. But it, it's nice that because it, it's a side branch basically. Yeah. But you can see here like a lot of them are really heavy. Yeah, they're getting heavy, aren't this they? This one it, being upright, it should go higher, not not right. drooping down. So you have to prune that back, or? Yeah, there's a, like a lot. I think I'm gonna have to do it inside, even though it's gonna be unideal. Yeah because of the light conditions, but there's just too much foliage on it. Yeah, it'll get too heavy on it. It hasn't dropped any yet, which is unusual. So they can break off, can't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, it's amazing, that. Just amazing. Welcome, everyone. This is the uh, tropical hideaway. <laughs> wow. This is ever cool. Yeah. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. A double decker. Wow. This is fantastic. Look at all the lights up here. Holy, there's this ficus rumpfii. Oh my goodness. They look really healthy, Connor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, they're just carrying around the... Uh... I recognize this. Yeah, I, I couldn't let you guys have it. Uh... Tropical expression. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And there's, look at this, holy, uh, wow. So you just pruned yours, but it's super vigorous. Mine's coming back yeah. already now. Mine's just, uh, just putting out flower buds. And you got the white leaves on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. But this is the first one to dry out in, in my tent. For sure. I noticed that too. They they like the water. Holy. We're, yeah, jam packed. That is amazing. We can pull some out uh, and have a better look at them. It's just nice sticking your head in here. It's yeah. like summertime. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is ever cool. I've never imagined something like this. And then down below, we've got layer number two. Yeah. 
Wow. So in the back, you can see my root uh, the root root bridge. bridge, yeah. Project. Wow. Here's the really root well. bridge. <laughs> Half a sniffing in my ear. <laughs> oh, wow. And there's some cuttings off that jade. Yeah. <laughs> you recognize that? Yeah, I think I may grow this one as a semi cascade. Yeah. You don't really ever see that. And, no. Uh, you might as well go for something unique. And mm -hmm. those are those Madagascar palms in there. Aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, I got a big, big one uh, over there. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I got a big dog in my face. <laughs> oh, what a good boy. What a good boy. So let's check the stats here. We've got 25.1 degrees Celsius, 44% humidity, and the time is 1.52. Now, Connor, where did you get this thing from? Um, so some of them come with my lights. Yeah. Um, they're just kind of like the cheapy Chinese models. Okay, because um, all the ones I get, they don't like the humidity and they start to go funny. Yeah, I've... That one seems to be working well. Yeah, it's pretty well. I may have a spare, um, but... Well, I'll, Yeah, they go... Like, I get, like, at least a couple years out of them. Do you, would you get them at, like, the grow stores and that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll look for it. We have one. Wow. Hmm. And then this is the uh, wall of pods. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Holy. Yeah. Look at all these pots. That looks like an Elden pot, that one. Uh, Maybe it's not. No, no, no. no. Uh, I think this is from maybe someone in India. Oh, okay. It's no, nice. No it's named, yeah. I really nice bronzy very color. Very thin, it. too. These are my uh, ones from, from Ray. Yeah, I recognize those. Yeah, these are my favorites. This is one from Wayne. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's nice. That's a nice one. I like that yeah. one. Yeah. Holy. That's uh I think uh well what I had I want something on this side and then like a seascape. Okay, lots yeah. Lots of uh a penjing pot. Yeah. That's nice. I like mm -hmm. that one. And these are nice up top. Yeah, too. these are a couple uh Nanban style. Yeah. yeah. Um very rough, right? Yeah, yeah. and like kind of handmade, like not yeah, not perfectly perfectly imperfect. Yeah, yeah. Um yeah. yeah, something that does the job and aesthetics is mm -hmm. secondary. And then too many, too many mame pots. <laughs> wow. Well, they're inexpensive to buy, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah, a couple become, bucks each, yeah. They become very addictive. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Hello, Appa. I think there's some new ones. I gotta find uh, shelf space. Yeah. From Wayne here. Look at this one. That is. Yeah, that's a wing pot as well. Okay, yeah. Wow, they're nice, aren't they? Yeah, but look at this. Uh, oh my goodness. It's got metallics in it. Yeah. Wow. And I really like uh, all the holes in the cookies. Yeah, yeah the texture is really mm -hmm. cool, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. I like yeah. that. Don't know what to put it in yet, but no. whatever goes in, it's going to have a nice home. It's Same with this nice one. even if it doesn't have a tree. Yeah, coppery, really oh, nice yeah, copper. Look at that one. This maybe is an Elden pot. Yeah, this one is. Okay, Elden, yeah. One of my favorite Elden pots here has my Adenium in it. Okay. Oh, isn't that yeah. a that's kind of like the one I bought at Sophie's today. Yeah, isn't it? a little the bit blue, kind of blue. Glaze. But yeah, an Elgin one. Oh wow! And look, how, I think this has just gotten super thick. It's yeah. almost time for a repot. Yeah, you don't want to break in the pot, do you? No. Did you see that video I sent you? I haven't got to okay. it. Yet, no. You see all the different styles of adenium growth. Uh -huh. There's tall tree-like ones, and oh wow, yeah, it, like the baobab style kind of. Yeah, well, there's really interesting. You'll have to have a look at that. It's kind of cool. This is just amazing in here. And there's the the papyrus yeah. down here, isn't it? A weird clump, clump thing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, a weird kusimono. I just trim, you can see, I, I have to trim all the stalks down. Yeah. And it's just regrowing. So if I was gonna show it, this was kind of the stage I would show it in. But kind of a weird uh, clump form, I guess. Is that a Brazilian rain tree in one of Wayne's pots? Um, that is a, some sort of acacia. 
Oh, a Casey. Oh, Casey. that's the big tall one. Yeah, I, I, unfortunately, I cut it. You back. cut it back. Yeah, <laughs> hard cut. But that is one of Wayne's pots, isn't yes, it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that is really cool. Well, that looks good. Cut back. It really branched out, didn't it? Yeah. And look at this uh, Barbados cherry. Is it? Mm -hmm. Look at the texture on the. That is fantastic. Yeah, just recently pruned. And that's a Brazilian rain tree yeah. behind it then, yeah. isn't it? Wow. They just sprawl out. You mentioned that too. They just take over all the space. They, they just get. go. Look at this one's doing. You got an air plant in it. Oh yeah, good spy. <laughs> <laughs> and look at the bougainvillea down here. Yeah, wow. so we recently cut back. Yeah. Here, I'll put it up so we can see the Okay, front. all right. Oh yeah, wow. So I did a hard hard prune here well everywhere basically yeah that looks good it's yeah blends in nice doesn't it you really got good taper oh, and I don't need this yeah, I need to go. yeah but I, I like this um i'm trying to grow this first branch out real thick yeah to have almost like a secondary side trunk yeah that'll be really nice that's looking good amazing mm -hmm. so uh, there's my my first cut here oh yeah they're slow to heal over though, eh? Did you say that too? Yeah, slow, very slow. Like yeah. it'll, that'll take uh, probably 20, 25 years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. And, and you'll <laughs> always see it. it. It'll never completely heal. Mm -hmm. Well, we've uh, still hasn't <laughs> pushed out in growth yet. No. I, I don't know what's. Still alive yeah. though and kicking. So I thought maybe a pruning would help. So it's I, just got to slowly build up energy and mm -hmm. then it'll push out. I don't yeah. know. That's a cool pot. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's that succulent. Yeah, the bonsai mint. Yeah. Very cool. And then this was the. Uh, oh yeah. The one where you had all the branches. Yeah. Splayed out. So you can see, I was like a little unsuccessful in a couple spots. I got some aerial roots coming down. That's looking really good. Mm hmm. I just pruned it back. I'm trying to encourage more under this moss. Yeah. But it's just. New leaves are just popping out. Oh, there's some scale. Oh. See? Yeah. yeah. The dreaded scale. I'm just going to spray that here. Sure. Okay. So we're, we're getting the water. Right. And. So I have a water tank. Oh, okay. Uh, from my fill it from the, the window there. Oh, wow. So uh, rain water while it's still not frozen. Yeah. As long as possible. So that water. fills the water and can. I keep mine aerated with air stones. Okay. Um, it's probably too dark for you guys to see it, but it keeps, uh, yeah, we can see it. It keeps the water real fresh and clean. Like it's, oh, it's yeah. no algae filled up. That's beautiful. So now yeah. you've so got, you guys, uh, you can see this table. Yeah. Uh, I forget what it's called, but basically it's a, a grow table. So it has the, all the pots are offset. Yeah. They're off the the bottom of the yeah, but table. they're all in this basically big bin, so I can just very liberally water everything. I don't have to care if I'm dripping everywhere. Or right? that, dripping everywhere. That is nice. And then they all drain out into here into the. Oh, okay, so here. there's a central drain here. Yeah, right under that rock. Okay, and then it comes down, and there's a hose connection, and into a bucket here. <laughs> that is cool, Connor. Yeah, so it makes it uh, really so easy. So can you, you can buy these tables, right? Yeah. And how much are they, like? Uh, this was like 140 or so, 120 maybe. Oh, okay, so I gotta get myself one of those. Yeah, I think it'd be worth it. That would be worth it. Ask, uh, ask her your hydroponic. Person yeah. In, in your town, they will be able to. If they don't have them, they'll be able to order them in. Okay. But that's what they are. It's like a hydroponic grow table. Yeah, a grow table. I've never seen anything like that. It's such a good idea. You just water liberally, and it all drains down into a catch bucket. That is cool. That is really cool. And this tent. So, do you close this tent up at all, or? Um, I've been leaving it open because the humidity is too high. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm worried about like mold and stuff uh, yeah so i got uh, obviously a lot of airflow yeah so i've been leaving these open until uh you know we're still not super heat mid midwinter dryness yeah so, yeah um, 
You could see 40, it was 40. Um, yeah. Now yeah. as I start watering, it'll go up to 80 or so. Okay, yeah. But um, it's going up. that's about the low point. 54 now. Yeah, which is still good, isn't it? Mm. And it reuses the water as much as possible. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, as long as it doesn't clog it up, it's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. I'm learning all kinds of new things here, <laughs> Connor. I've never seen anything like this before. Well, it just makes... You're gonna well, to get... you know how long it takes to water things, and you have to do oh, yeah. pot by pot. You're going to have to get an overhead watering system or something <laughs> in here. Yeah. <laughs> just an automatic timer mister or something. Actually, that'd work well, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Have you ever tried misting nozzles in here? Uh, no, not indoors. No. Um, but I, I had that, that system set up last year outside. Yeah, outdoors, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to try something like that in my greenhouse over the summer. Yeah. So it automatically comes on and mists. Yeah, they're great. And you can just go buy those nozzles from uh, Home Depot or... Yeah hardware stores and they're like very very customizable okay so you can actually walk in here too eh yeah there's there's some space left <laughs> a little bit of space and... wow this is so cool the annoying part is watering ones underneath yeah yeah it's well, you know, you have to... Yeah, I'm ready to compromise. Yeah. <laughs> you know, short of cutting a hole in the roof of your house so the natural rainwater comes in. <laughs> uh, and there's your big bougainvillea in there. Mm -hmm. Looking good, isn't it? Yeah, so I repotted it into uh, one of Isabella's pots. Oh, yeah, Isabella's pot. Yeah. Oh, is that ever nice? That suits it, doesn't I it? I think so, especially... That is the perfect pot the for that tree. The flowers are just coming out, so I'll take another photo when they do. But yeah. the, the pink flowers are just going to pop against the white pot. Oh, that's really the excited perfect about it. pot, isn't it? That was a good deal, that one. And that's a clear glaze on white clay, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, That's really unique. Just amazing. Yeah, you, that was a good purchase, that pot. This is so cool. You could grow anything in here, couldn't you? <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Reminds me of something like at a museum or something where you look through the windows and yeah, here's a tropical rainforest <laughs> <laughs> or something at Disney World or something. Jungle Cruise. Yeah, yeah, it sort of feels like it. Well, you can feel the humidity skyrocketed as well water. Yeah, oh uh, yeah. What's it up to now? 75. 75, 77%. Wow. <laughs> So your adenium, will that go dormant in the winter or will it keep its leaves? Um, well, you can see I pulled off a little bit. Like we lost some of the lower leaves. Yeah. Um, we'll probably lose these lesser colored ones. Um, sometimes it keeps it like, so this one's, you know, it's probably going to sit dormant until yeah. until spring. That one's lost its leaves. Yeah. I, I, I basically try not to water these uh, at all. Yeah, me either. Yeah, I've got mine in the basement where it's cool. Yeah. And uh, it's, it has no leaves. I thought, you know, it's got no leaves when I got it, so I thought I might as well wait till spring till it mm -hmm. bring it out of dormancy. Yeah, and if, if that's the case, then you'll probably not have to water that once <laughs> over yeah. winter, maybe one time. Yeah, they said the fat ones like that, they can store enough water that you don't yeah. have to water them. It's yeah. only the smaller ones that you might have to water them a little bit. It's the bit. same thing with the jade. You know when like the jade leaves are plump? Yeah. They're okay. Same thing with when the the adenium's like plump and, and, yeah. and full, then you are you don't need to water. Yeah, they'll start shriveling up when they're drying mm -hmm. out, won't they? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So the haws, the haws can's great. It gets the ones in the back. It reaches back. That's amazing. Yeah, they're a little heavy, aren't they? But Worth at, it. At yeah. first. 
Yeah, that's why you do the, the ones in the back when the can's almost empty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be reaching with the full can yeah. back there. Yeah. And then Ficus Religiosa is looking good in there. Yeah. Wow. Uh, it's really fattening up, isn't it? I'll Holy. pull that one out for you guys. But, okay. Yeah, uh, let's have a look at it. There's the tiger bark. Wow. Is that ever looking good, Connor? Thanks. It just keeps getting better and better, uh, doesn't it? Well, this was after a, uh, a severe pruning. Yeah. So it's just exploded. So it's picturesque right now, I think. Amazing. Just amazing. But look at like the, it's just covered in wood the soil. Wood soil. Yeah. It needs a repot. That's the only way I'm going to get it out. Yeah. But these you bats. see the seeds. Yeah. Like, Have you seen them explode? Oh, yeah. And the last thing you want them is to explode in a tent like that. No, because it'll, it'll just... And they're pretty because they get these little yellow flowers yeah. here. Yeah, yeah it's a real catch-22. And they're easy to grow. But boy, they have dense roots and it just... Yeah. Like yeah. this is a... Um, this is an ornamental variety. Oh, yeah. Uh, like a burgundy oxalis, which is a, a wood sorrel. Yeah. So it still has the same yellow flower. Um, but an ornamental one, so it's nice. You can use them as Kusumono, you just have to control the... And will that the... spread too, or...? I haven't seen it. I don't think it has seed pods. Okay. I That's think it's good. like a commercialized okay. version of it. Wow. I, I hope at least. <laughs> yeah. Or you'll have red sorrel and everything. Yeah. But you can see um, where I cut. Oh, yeah. And then I brought this That was to bend it, right? Yeah. 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 Wow. That'll heal up in no time, too. Mm -hmm. And you don't yeah, see amazing. it from the front. No. So, and, it, and it's it's a nice continuation of the the trunk angle. Yeah. And it just raised a little bit over the summer. It was a little deeper. Yeah, that's really cool. But yeah, really, there's a the first cut I made back here. Oh yeah. Oh, that's healing over nicely, mm -hmm. isn't it? Really cool. Very nice. Here comes the Ficus religiosa. Wow, that has really changed, Connor. Yeah, it's growing really strong. Really strong. Wow. Here, I can put it back up on the turntable. Oh, okay. There it is. Look at that. Yeah, so the roots uh, grow into the, oh, yeah. into the table like that. Yeah, they like to grow roots, don't they? Get this Some more wood sorrel. It's okay when it's this size, but yeah. But yeah, I have uh, looking really good. So I picked uh, the one branch you left up here, yeah, as yeah. a leader, and then I'm gonna try to keep it short, yeah. But right now, this is just growing to thicken it up, and same with this branch, yeah. And if you cut those off, you'll get an explosion of branches in that yeah. area. So that's, yeah, it's looking really good, Connor. That's gonna be a cool tree in the future. Here's Connor's two little leaf ficus. I love the pot and the movement and the shape of it is just fantastic. Wow. There's a thick little semi-cascade. Wow, that's awesome. And whose pot is that? Um, I'm not sure. That is really cool. I think I, this is one of the ones I get in the batches of the little ones all together. Okay. Yeah, looks nice. nice. It's nice nicely little, made, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. As seen in the movie Dune. Yeah. <laughs> like Harry Afra. Wow. I was worried this branch, because uh, I need it as my primary branch. Yeah. But uh, it had a big like hammer fist, so I cut it back, and then I was worried about it. I'm still worried about it because it's completely. Um, yeah, it's got no chlorophyll. No at chlorophyll. All, yeah, it? I forget the word. Not necrotic. Um, anyway, so this is not producing a lot of. Uh, it's not photosynthesizing as much. Right. But it's still growing, like they're still extending and stuff, so... Well, yeah. I'm gonna grow it back out, but uh, the shape's there. I guess it's being fed by the other leaves and then... Yeah. Yeah, or, or the flow to this section. That is... it's really pretty, that, isn't it? The... Yeah, a good little shape. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that car. It started from the same uh, little portrait care afros that you guys saw at Tropex, like uh, this is from Tropical Expressions. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, so I got same kind of stock. I like Tropical Expressions great. I started a bunch of little trees. I was really impressed with that place. Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah, like I got that. This is a sweet plum from them too. Okay, yeah. And, and then the really and this tire bark that we just looked at, that that was from Tropical Expressions okay. too. What what's this one in here, Connor? This? Yeah. Uh that's a 
Gru no, not a Guria. Premna, a Premna. Premna, okay. Yeah. And where did you get that from? Um, I'm not sure its origin. I got it from Wayne. Okay. Um, because I I've never seen Premnas for sale anywhere. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was uh, a Kim's Nature or or maybe Tropical Expressions at one time. Okay. But this is in a Wayne pot as well. Oh, that's a nice pot, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. That looks really good. A great, nice little base, and the form to this is my favorite. I love this low, yeah, strong yeah, branch, yeah. and then and then the crown mimics it and comes over it. Yeah, it's cool. It's very nice, very nice. Yeah, bursting out of the basket. Holy! <laughs> Look at the chiffler in there, eh? It's just wants to grow. <laughs> yeah, so it wouldn't be. Yeah, look at all of them. <laughs> oh, I have to repot mine this yeah. winter. Yeah, That's so this amazing. It looks really healthy. Yeah. I think it's almost time for a natural pot, so... Yeah. Wow. That's really cool. And what's the one at the very back there? This is a, uh, a cascading uh, Natal Plum. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so from Chris Henry. Yeah. Um, it's the one we saw in the summer that I'm growing it in the tube. Yeah, yeah, I remember that now. Um, so it's, it's, it's really grown out now, so that's how I know there's a lot of roots in the base. Seems like it's done better indoors than it has I outdoors. I think it has, yeah. <laughs> it really turned around. Isn't that amazing? Some trees uh -huh. do that. They, yeah. You get them indoors under grow lights and that, and mm -hmm. they just explode in growth. Well, these uh, these grow lights have uh, ultraviolets. Okay. Uh, diodes on them, the LEDs. Um, they're like the spider panel uh, up here. So each one okay. has a bar. Yeah. Uh, but there's like a control knob here, so you may be able to see the so I'll turn off, like, look, I can turn the red ones off. You can see how okay. it gets more blue. Yeah. And then I turn the red ones on, it gets more uh, red. Oh, yeah. So I can control kind of the spectrum. So there's color diodes in there. And... Yeah. But the UV really helped with leaf drop. Okay. I didn't get a lot of leaf drop. From bringing them in yeah. from outside, eh? And uh, same thing on the way back out. Yeah. Uh, in going back out in the spring. You don't lose a lot of leaves. You don't fry them as much because okay. the, the UV is in They're the spectrum. used to that UV, eh? Yeah. So you should wear sunglasses when you're in here. Yeah, technically, yeah. I think the <laughs> levels are low, but... Yeah. And then you can sneak in here when I get out, but that's okay. my uh, root over rock over rock. Okay. Well, let's have a look at that. Easy, Nitch. We'll come in. Okay, so here's... Oh, this is like the Avatar one. Yeah. It's so, a little tall, so that's why it's down the side. Yeah, yeah. Looks good and healthy. Yeah, there's some aerial roots coming out. I, Try yeah. to encourage some around the top. You see the like the air layer basket I have there? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get aerial roots out of that. Well, that's cool. That'll be exciting to see that mm. in the future, eh? Wow. Kind of like a natural sui band or something? Yeah. More of a tray. There's another one up there. It's oh, really cool. Yeah, oh, this is one I made, same kind of style. Oh, really? At Wayne's or? Uh, yeah. Oh, is that ever cool? Nice, really nice. What are you gonna plant in that, Connor? Um, so some weird kind of like semi-cascade or wind yeah. windswepty thing. Um, it's very stable. Like the base is, it's really heavy in the base. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's uh, very cool. It can handle the. Yeah, the, the weight of our yeah. offset tree. Eh? Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. I like that pot. But it's it's just too small for my uh, root uh, bridge. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow, is that ever beautiful? But sometimes I put this rock planting in it. Okay. Yeah. So it's glued onto tiles. Yeah. Um, and then really vertical. Yeah, I had chiffleurs nice. at one time, and then I had elms. Yeah, I saw that in there. That's really cool. So I picked, it's the same rock as that. Oh, so it's I like Featherstone or something. Uh, Dragonstone. Dragonstone. Yeah, it's uh, lignif or petrified wood. Petrified, wow. But uh, really cool channels and... Very cool. This one's growing well. This needs a good trim too. Yeah. So after watering, the humidity has gone up to 99%. You can feel how humid it is down here. It's like a tropical rainforest. All that jazz. Yeah, all your electronic devices <laughs> and tools and yeah, it's it's nice. We bought it used in time. I originally I thought we were gonna bring it in and out, so yeah. it'd, it'd be like more traveling, but it's too heavy. Yeah, it stays down here. 
Yeah. Oh, that's nice. It's on yeah. wheels, though, isn't yeah. it? But and then I have a little... Uh, these are from Lee Valley. They're really nice. They're yeah, really yeah. Right now, but it, it keeps all the soil uh, yeah. contained. Yeah. There's all the bonsai soil, eh? Wow. These, uh... <laughs> Is that from Wayne or, or uh, Ray? Um, no, it's a big mix of everybody's stuff now. <laughs> really. Okay. Uh, so there's, like, some products from Chris Hendry in here. They're, like, the red lava, the black lava. Oh, yeah. Um, there's some pumice. Um, I basically just mix like particulate and organic now, so I don't okay. really care what the particulate is. Yeah. Um, so there's a little bit of everything in there. Oh, ah, it's general mix, eh? Yeah, but it's uh, decent enough to get me through the winter, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the idea. Cool. Well, thanks, Connor, for having me over. No problem. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. It was, uh, I'm glad you guys could see the indoor and the winter setup. So It was very eye-opening. Thank <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> that was really cool to see Connor's indoor setup. So now it's time to head home. I have made it back home safe and sound once again. I'll show you what pots I bought at Sophie's. Here is the first pot I bought. So it's got a really nice color on it. It's kind of blue and purple, turquoise, and then underneath is green and blues. And it's a high fired pot. So it, it can survive, you know, frost and that. I'll probably plant a tropical tree in it. Usually in a pot like this, because it has the blue and purples, you would plant something with either flowers or fruit the opposite color. So orange is the opposite blue and yellow is the opposite of purple. So anything with an orangey yellowish kind of uh, fruit or flower would look good. So I was thinking actually my lemon tree might be nice in this pot. I think that would look really good. There's a look at the bottom. Got Sophie's name in the bottom. Very nice pot. I really, really like this glaze on it. Yeah. Just beautiful. Here is pot number two now. So a similar pot, but a different glaze, and it has these cloud feet on it. So they're really awesome. And this is just beautiful colors too. It's got greens and tans and olives. I think a ficus would look really good in this pot. And this is also high fired. Be I think cone 10, I believe, but just a beautiful pot like, wow. So that's awesome. That is just awesome. Here's Sophie's card. It says high fired bonsai pots handmade in Cambridge, Ontario, made from stoneware clay, gas fired to 2,345 degrees Fahrenheit or 1,285 degrees Celsius for sturdiness. Frost proof, unglazed inside, improves drainage, custom orders welcome. I'll put Sophie's contact information in the description below. So another fun road trip. It was great seeing everyone again. And that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <laughs>